as a totally optional bonus, I decided to uh, throw in a little nugget here of information about how you can get this to uh, get this behavior to mimic what is going on with these display flags out on the object level. We just need to tie a little expression onto these uh, onto this on off switch, and we're going to do that using Python. So I bet you probably didn't think you were going to be doing any Python in this course, but I figured this is pretty, uh, it's a pretty simple one. It's kind of a fun one. So I just throw it out there in case anyone finds it useful. All right. So, uh, let's just work off the, uh, let's just grab all of our lights real quick and I'm just going to right click and say expression, edit expression. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in, uh, who.node. So H O U dot N O D E and open, uh, parentheses and put in a quote period quote and close parentheses and say dot is capital display D, capital D display capital F flag uh, capital S set so is display flag set and open and close parentheses right afterwards hit apply and accept and it's it gave us a warning saying it was unable to evaluate this is because it's set to h script expressions we just need to change the expression language by right clicking on this going to expression and then saying change to the language to python and now you can see that um when i uh well, let me turn let me turn the ipr back on now you can see that when i turn um this these lights on and off using the flags you can see them turn on and off in the scene so i can grab all of them turn the display flags off and then back on. And that's one way that you can kind of tie the visible, the actual activation of your light to the display flag uh, like so. Totally optional. I didn't actually do this in my project. I don't do it in every project, but I just figured I'd throw it out there in case somebody found it useful.